The Science Laboratory. What do you want? Solve the following three survival challenges. A group of crocodiles hungry for meat. Dinosaurs will starve for 20 days. The fierce blaze burned everything to ashes. I bet you won't be able to survive. <laughs> hmm, let's start. How to survive among the crocodiles. Acrobatics. Practicing acrobatics serves a crucial purpose in scenarios like navigating a crocodile-infested area, ensuring agility and speed in climbing up and down structures like a single bar without risking limb loss to the lurking reptiles below. Add an engine. Next challenge! How to escape from a dinosaur. Cycling machine. A cycling machine transforms into a vital survival tool. Pedaling furiously on the bike powers a makeshift escape vehicle, offering a swift and energy efficient means to outrun even the fastest predators. Add an engine. Oh no, it doesn't move. You won't be able to escape this last challenge. <laughs> How to survive in the fierce place. Horizontal bar. Building a pull-up bar can be a game changer in survival situations. By enabling a person to climb up and down, ensuring that flames licking at one's heels can be evaded. I won to thirds of the challenges. Hmm. I'm free. <laughs> hmm. Huh, haven't run out of ingredients yet. Oh no, ingredients for my ice cream. What should I do now? Aha, uh -huh. I'm saved. Milk. Sugar. Yellow ice cream. Kindly wait. So cool. I want it. Ice cream. Yeah! <laughs> I guess it's banana flavor. Haha, -ha, that's right. I want a red ice cream. Green, please. Okay. <laughs> hmm, maybe strawberry. No, it's watermelon flavor. The apple ice cream. I'm sure this ice cream is made from kiwi. <laughs> Jack is right twice. Yeah, I win. Grr, I've never been right. How to build the ice cream machine. Mixer zone. Push zone. Build the mixer zone. Step 1. Build a mixer blade. Step 2. Build the engine. Step 3. Testing a mixer blade. Build the push zone. 
Step 1. Build a Patong Step 2. Build the engine Step 3. Complete assembly Welcome to Mr. D's challenge. The winner will receive a prize of one million dollars. I will win that money. That money will be mine. No, it's mine. Are you ready? <laughs> no one will win one million dollars. A set of extremely tough challenges that no one has overcome. I will go first. <laughs> oh no, who set the saw trap here? That's a terrifying saw blade on the track. How to set up the saw trap? The saw blade. Install the saw blade. Install the motor. Connect to the battery box. Testing. I will overcome this challenge. My turn! <laughs> the Broken Bridge Trap <laughs> What? It's a trap! The Slime Hill Trap Nobody can escape from my traps. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Please forgive me. <laughs> Alex is a pitiful poor man. So today, I'm gonna build him a dream bed-shaped villa with a supermarket, gaming room, swimming pool and other fancy stuff a true billionaire would have. But first, I need a large plot of land and a large acrylic tank for the secret action I've planned at the end. Alright, time to stock up the shelf. I've got all these little sodas, cartons of milk and juice boxes, and even a few snack packs ready to put in. I want to make sure everything's perfectly lined up by color, shape, and shelf height behind these glass doors, because this isn't just stocking, it's shelf art. Now, place the two drink shelves into the supermarket and watch Alex enjoy them. Next, I'm gonna set up shelves full of my favorite brands of drink, fast food, and snacks. And of course, this brand sign is indispensable. So, this is my very own 7-Eleven. Now, time to set up the home theater. First, I need a super large OLED TV with squid game figures inside. Then I add two speakers, a sofa, and a pair of armchairs. And just like that, our home cinema is complete. Alex enjoys the movie so much. To make it more like a living room, I also build a luxury aquarium and place it behind the sofa. Let's see if it can actually hold real water. With the remaining space, I put in a bookshelf, a soft drink shelf, and a Lego collection shelf. Tada! The secret room under the bed is done. Next, I build the outer walls for the bed, attach a special part, and place two more bed posts. Once this wall is done, I'll get to work on the machine that can lift the bed surface. To make the machine, I will need a Technic Gear Rack 1 quarter circle 11 by 11. When the gear rotates, it drives the rack to move, lifting, or lowering the bed. Now I just need to add the axle, add a motor, then connect everything to the battery box. And done! 
Now I'm gonna install the lifting device into these two holes and connect it to the battery. Let's see. Yep, it's working perfectly. Since the supermarket and fancy living room are finished, I'll build more rooms so our lucky Alex can eat, chill, and live like a king. Next up is my favorite part of this villa, the gaming room. I have four awesome arcade machines here, from racing, temple run, and slots, to brick block puzzle. And of course, I have a foosball table too. Let's give it a quick test. Alex and his girlfriend are seriously into that foosball game. Right next to the gaming room, I built a high-end garage fully stocked with tools, helmets, tires, and all kinds of racing gear. Now, add the glass doors for the gaming room, and the auto door for the garage. And that's all for the first floor. Alright, we just filled up all the secret rooms, and 7-Eleven on the first floor. Now we're ready for the second floor. First things first. In this bathroom, I've got a large white bathtub, a wave painting to give it that spa vibe, a modern sink setup, and a high-tech toilet. So chill, he's living better than me for sure. <laughs> Behind the glass door, I also built him a million dollar bedroom with a king size bed, a top tier Whoa. streaming setup with three monitors, a webcam, soundproof walls, and even a VR play zone. A luxury life needs a healthy body too. So at the foot of the bed, I also built him a home gym with lots of equipment so he can work out every day without worrying about being watched. Now, to cover the top of the bed, I set up a helipad on the second floor roof and a swimming pool right on the bed surface for our couple to splash and chill on sunny days. And the final feature is a go-kart racetrack around the bed to fulfill Alex's dream of becoming an F1 racer. The bed-shaped villa is officially done. Now it's time to test if our supermarket can survive this massive flood. Okay, the goods are basically still intact on the shelves. And most importantly, despite everything, Alex stays chill as always. <laughs> How can I fix my roof? I need a scissor lift. Let me help you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Hand. <laughs> You're welcome. I need help. Aha, uh -huh. scissor lift, Mr. Hand. Uh -huh. Okay.
Thank you, Alex and Mr. Hand. <laughs> <laughs>